Welcome to Christian Life's This Day in Religious History. In this series, we take a look at significant and notable religious events that have happened on this date in the past. This will only be a short video. However, we do indeed hope and pray that you find it useful. So here goes. The date of Christ's return has tested theologians and ministers throughout the ages to speculate, calculate and predict so far without success. This issue also tested the mind of Baptist preacher William Miller, who succeeded in gaining a large following, believing that Christ would return this day, 22nd of October, in 1844. His calculation for Christ's return was a complex calculation based on the prophet Daniel's 8th chapter, mentioning 2,300 days. We won't go into it or how that it, it was calculated, but needless to say, it made some mathematical sense to suggest that Miller could have been right. It is estimated that at least 100,000 followers gathered on the 22nd of October in makeshift temples and on hillsides to greet Jesus' return. Needless to say, this did not happen, and much dissatisfaction developed, eventually resulting in Miller being abandoned by his followers, though some did continue to follow him into a new religious movement called the Adventists. To this day, there exists the Seventh-day Adventist Church, which is a Protestant Christian denomination which is distinguished by its observance of Saturday, the seventh day of the week in Christian and Jewish calendars, as the Sabbath, and its emphasis on the imminent second coming of Jesus Christ. Its headquarters is in Maryland, USA, and it has a congregation of some 86,576 churches. Thank you for listening, and please do tune in for tomorrow's This Day in Religious History. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, like and comment, not forgetting to press the bell sign so that you're notified when new videos are posted. May God go with you today and always.